Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode 9 slash 4. Let's play Ruins and Riches, but it's actually Adventurers of Alcalabeth. Very cool stuff thus far. Hope you guys are enjoying and doing well out there. Ready to check out some more of this. We made Ilmatix, who checked out our skills for us last episode. We may continue that character someday, but let's click Alzarian. And uh, get into it. We're still right at the beginning. So, um, here we are. We open that. Uh, Alzarian, the novice man at arms. Whoops. And we've got a bag full of food. Some fish steaks, some squash, some ham, a banana, a lime, a gourd, a honeydew melon. And we've got, uh, Empty water skin, put that in there too. A dagger to defend ourselves, a torch. Um, 103 gold coins. That's about it. So let's come in here and check this out. Single click the gypsy and select talk to speak with her. Candida the gypsy. Ah. Greetings, Azarian. You're about to enter one of the lands in the adventures of Al. Akalabet. Not too long ago, the stranger arrived in Sosaria and foiled the evil plans of Exodus. Castle Exodus lies in ruins, and Sosaria is once again trying to rebuild in peace. Many vile monsters still roam the land, however, but hardy adventurers have bravely sought to rid us of these terrors. To begin your journey, simply choose your fate from my deck of tarot cards. Begin by pressing the top right button. Once you look through the deck, pressing the arrow buttons, you can draw a card of your choice by pressing the OK button on the top right. There's a shelf over there with interesting potions you may want. So if you want one, drink it now and return here for your tarot card reading. Now let me tell you some things of the world that fate has brought you to. Traveling the lands can be dangerous as other adventurers may decide to kill you for your gold or property. That is really wild. The taverns, inns, and banks are safe from such threats. But there are also many guards in the settlements to keep the peace. They have been known to quickly dispatch with murderers and criminals. There are many merchants throughout the settlements. They are not able to sell or buy everything they normally deal in, as their choices of what they buy and sell change from day to day. There are secrets to be learned and magic items to be found in the many dungeons. Each settlement in Sosaria is somewhat safe in the surrounding land, so hunting for food or skin should be relatively safe. I cannot say such thing of other lands. There is also a minor dungeon near each settlement of Sosaria, if you wish to begin traversing the dangers below before you're fully prepared. Be warned that the vile creatures are not all that you must face. There are many deadly traps in the rooms and halls of these places that could kill you quicker than the monster you may be fleeing from. Prepare to go forth and make your life your own. Become the finest craftsman in the land, a wealthy owner of lands and castles. The mightiest warrior, or even the most powerful wizard, the choice is yours. This world can be traveled alone and with friends where one could have great adventures. Like I stated already, your chosen course in life is whatever you want to do. You may be a mighty warrior or a powerful wizard. You may simply start a potion shop near a large city. You may be a master of beasts or a mystical bard. This is a world where great wealth and artifacts can be obtained from the many dungeons throughout the land. You may be slain by a creature, die from hunger get lost in the dark or stumble into a deadly trap. You may find powerful relics and enough gold to build your own castle. You may not actually be of human descent. You might actually be an ogre, a troll, or a satyr. There are many creatures that you can actually be. If you want to explore these ideas, look through my potion shelf behind me. There you will find various potions of alteration that can change your life. If you choose one of these creatures to be, consider changing your name to better represent the creature that you chose to play. This leads me to my final words of advice. This realm is best served if you have a name that is commensurate with that of a rich fantasy world. You have one final chance to change your name if you need to by simply using my journal on the table behind me. You could not have a name that someone else already has, so it must be unique. If you want to change your name, proceed to the table where I keep my journal. Once your name is changed, return here for your tarot card reading. Benches of a Calabeth. Let's go. So, I think all of these cards are the same. Um, the Fool, Death. We're going to start a new place. This is a episode one. Yeah. So, we're going to treat it as 
you know, a new beginning. Um, the town of Devilguard. The village of Grey. You'll have a new home in this village where the inhabitants during the Third Age of Darkness gave several clues to the stranger that defeated Exodus. It was even rumored they sold ships that could fly to the stars, but none who remain know how to create such things. Huh. Now the village is often the home of those that enjoy solitude. There are no mountains to mine, but some have dug beneath the forest floor to obtain ore. The cemetery is rumored to have a secret that necromancers whisper in hushed tones. I don't know. It could be a good place to hunt for treasures and stuff. Montour. This is a vast city. Um, you know, we may go with Montour. There's a vile lich living in a tower with a magic mirror that traverses dimensions. We did moon already a little bit. We never saw the ancient pyramid. It is rather cool, but I just want to get a fresh start. The fool is interesting. Small islands, but how would we ever get off? We would need like a boat. And it's foolish to inhabit. inhabit. It's one of the more difficult places to live. I have a feeling it might rock our worlds. The Undercity of Umbra. The Sun, the Village of Yu. It's a major trade of wood. Wood is good. Okay, and the Hanged Man, the British Dungeons, or the Britain Dungeons. I think we're going to pick the fullest tempting. There's an unusual tower built by a wizard long ago. Huh. But Montour kind of makes sense for our character, who's kind of a salesman by trade. You want a lot of people. Let's go with the tower, the city of Montour. If you take this road, you'll be a citizen in a vast... Oh. If you take this road, you'll be a citizen in a vast city where courage is especially upheld, having all the shops needed for everyone. The inhabitants of the Montors knew a lot about the mystical four cards that the stranger needed to defeat Exodus, as well as tales of the lost shrines of Ambrosia. Montor is the most visited city, and also the largest in Solsaria due to trade from ships. There's a small mine to the east as well as a tower to the northeast. This tower is said to be home of a vile lich with a magic mirror that traverses dimensions. But those rumors are often told with a tankard of ale. I apologize, by the way, for my terrible accent. Yeah, let's go with the tower. Boom, here we go. Welcome to the adventures of Akalabeth. Prepare to embark on a journey of sword and sorcery, demons and dragons, but with much treasure. The card vanishes from your hands. Boom, here we go. Okay, so... We have fishermen right away. The Mariner Guildmaster. Um, wow, this place already is huge. People everywhere. Let's see what we can get into. Force is going up. A turn, a healer. Okay. So the first thing you probably want to do is go to your skills. Which we're going to put like right here. And we want the map. That's probably good enough as a world map. No, it's not. Let's get the world map up there. Um, just not that big, though. Like that's plenty. All right. Um, let's get that. Let's look at. Let's do some options. Highlight game objects. Uh, Let's see, we want, um, what is it? The info bar. Show info bar. And again, we can't change it to hunger, right? Stats cap. Oh, stats cap is interesting. Resists, luck, armor, damage, gold. Oh, gold is a good one. Throw gold in there. Make it the color gold. Gold. 
sun's already kind of bright, so. And we'll type gold. Apply. Boom. That right at the top here. You know, gold shouldn't be right there, though. Let's delete that one. Let's add an item. Gold should be down here. It's a very good one to add. I asked him to wait a follower's gold. Okay, and we'll put this like where we can see it. Cool. So let's look around. We are here. We are ready to roll a call to arms. The dented shield. Oh, our skills, right? Um, 40 arms lore. We want that to go up begging. Uh, camping. I don't think we really want any camping. Cartography. Forensic can go up a little. Mercantile tasting can go up a little. Anatomy. Um, don't really want any bludgeoning. Any fencing, any fist fighting, focus, uh, okay, healing, maybe, marksmanship, no, parrying, no, well, I don't know what we're going to use, I kind of assume we're going to use swordsmanship, so maybe parrying a little bit, trade skills, alchemy, I don't want, blacksmithing, it's cool, but bow crafting, carpentry, Cooking can go up a bit. Inscription. Inscription's interesting. Lumberjacking, uh, maybe. Mining. See, I kind of want to do that stuff. I want to do tailoring, too. And tinkering, for that matter, but... I don't know. All these different skills. Meditation. No Bushido. No Elementalism. Well, maybe Elementalism. No Nightship. Maybe these. No necromancy, no ninjutsu. Veterinary, tracking, taming, seafaring, herding, druidism, all of them. Stealth, stealing, snooping, searching, remove trap, poisoning, lockpicking, hiding. Lockpicking's 25. All of those. And we can turn the music skills off, probably. Well, it yeah, will turn them off for now. And if I change my mind on that, get an instrument. We'll check that out, so. All right, so we're already at 100 points. We have 900 left. Let's head into here. We have a dagger. Um, how can we start our journey making money? We have water in the water skin? No, it's empty. There goes a water tub right here. Nice. Um, we should probably start looking for... What did Be Basia go to the catacombs of the Nefarious? Probably start hunting for our first meal. Um, the dented shield. Maybe we could get a leather helmet from. Um, hey. Bag. Ten foot pole lock picks. They're going to be useful. 12 GP though. I want a leather hat. Mm. No, what about you? Noted in the cobbler. Hey! Boots that don't do anything. Barbarian boots don't do anything. Leather sandals. Those are cool. 60 GP for leather sandals, so I'm not gonna do it. So we go unarmed. Ooh, keep an eye out for a doggy. A mouse. What do we got here? The, uh, the tender cow. Uh, leather. So let's head out a little bit. And, uh, Take on a hawk. Oh, wait, we're not taking out a hawk, are we? Come on, come on, don't die. Oh, go get it, go get it. 
Take it out. Take it out. Run. Run. Oh my gosh. At least our skills went up a little bit. Wow, we do not have the hits as my old character did. We've got to be pretty careful, so... The tender cow, they've actually got a cow out here. Let's see what they deal with. The Butcher Culinary Guild, okay. And then let the focus rise for now. You can use that skill early on. Here we've got the Sorcerer's Stein. It's a, it's an inn. Just looking around and stuff. I have to do better than that, uh, Adiva. Adiva. Test the Hunter, Core the Demon Slayer. So, in a new city, guys. Very cool. We've got the Dented Shield. Wait, we didn't check the Dented Shield. Huh. Dwight the Armor, chain, train blacksmithing. Hey. Leather sleeves, leather tunic 101. We don't have the strength for it, oh my gosh. Leather gorget, he's got the leather gear. Wow, leather cloak. Unicorn skin arms, crazy. And we don't have the strength for anything. All right, instead of fighting right now, I think that's enough focus. Honestly, let's just turn off focus for a bit. Um, can we get any leather at all? Leather gorget, leather tunic, leather sleeves. 80 GP. And we need an axe still. Studded gloves I can't use. Studded gorget. Okay, well we know where to come for armor. And weapons perhaps. A seam of the weaponsmith, nice. A pickaxe. pretty durable like oh strength requirements oh my gosh I did not think of that we can't even think of an axe right now son there's literally no axe we can use <laughs> Our strength is so low at 23 or whatever. Oh my gosh. Could use an assassin dagger. Is that an upgrade? Not really. And it's fencing. I can't use any axe. That's troubling. Well, no chopping wood then to gain strength. Uh, can we use a pickaxe? No, it takes 50 for a pickaxe. Um, wow, okay. Well, we might as well take the dagger out and try to catch what we can catch. Uh, maybe I'll tame a cat. Traveler wears. We can go there. Um, that's too far away. Come here, kitty. You 
start to tame the creature. See, nothing to be afraid of. Druid and Druidism went up. Easy, easy. Nice and easy. You failed to tame the creature. Okay, taming and Druidism went up a bit. Maybe a cat's not meant to be. Christine is spreading rumors about a pair of mystical boots that let you walk on lava. Interesting. Fair and the provisioner from the Merchants Guild. No, I don't want to hire you. I want to buy from you. Hey. Oh, we already checked his stuff, right? What am I doing? This is where we were earlier. Yeah. Kind of hard to see in the dark, and I don't have a torch lit right now. matter. That's the hunter. Can we tame a mouse? <laughs> I want to find a dog, really. But, um... Gonna be a little easier to make our way to start here. We're gonna have to roll with... Uh... Wow. A parrot, maybe? Hello. Take out a parrot? Our little dagger. Gotcha. Get those feathers. And that raw bird. Dinner is served. Let's, um, come here to Razor and set up a macro now. Um, wait, was it macro? Scripts? Mac Hotkeys, okay. Target's last target. It was shift, mid mouse button, set, boom. Okay. That's for chopping down trees and stuff, though. Panda's in the forest here. Go, I don't want to go too far out. Brown bear, a llama, a grizzly bear. Can I chop a tree with a dagger, I wonder? Hawk would mess me up, I think. <laughs> oh, East Montour, what? Oh, city. I was like, hello, corpse already? That would certainly help. Imagine taming a horse, oh boy. And then getting a nice little saddle for it. A seagull, yes, a seagull. Come here. Time for you to go down. Go down, seagull, go down. For some reason, my swordsmanship is not gaining at all. Oh, so I'm not really doing too well with it. Feathers. So as soon as you click and drag, I don't even have to hold shift and that happens. That's interesting. Uh, that didn't happen in my... In the, the other one we were playing. Which wasn't quite set up properly. I was using different, fa different versions of client and... You know, um, game and stuff. Or client and world. 25 feathers. At least we'll probably have dinner if we can cook a little bit. Two eggs. And we'll, um, you know, cook stuff up. Maybe let cooking skill go up a little bit. Don't think we can handle a fox. Taming a llama would be awesome. Um, Eagle Hawk, that's danger territory. 
Brown bear. Starling. Come on, you. Intelligence changed by one. Nice. Because I'm fighting birds. They're like, you smart for that. <laughs> All right. More bird meat. A raven. Maybe I'll get smarter. I hope it doesn't take me out, though. There we go. Cougar on the way. Get out of its way. A dove. Beautiful dove. Gotta die. Swallow. Yeah, you gotta go too. A little close there. Should I try to tame a llama? I don't know if I can. Like, even try. I don't know how to. Well, I guess I could if I go back into peace mode. This llama seems to like me. It would be hilarious. Let's, uh. Hello, llama. You have no chance of taming this creature, right? Can I maybe tame a hawk? No chance. Oh well. I can maybe tame like a... Absolutely nothing, really. Let's see, we're getting a little far out, so... Might want to return with my bounty. sell them to. Are you going to be exotic? Sarah of the Hills. Kauri the Demon Slayer. Tess the Hunter. Hmm. All oh, the archers over here might be rangers. the guard. Hey. Guard duty. We've seen this in previous episodes. Bounties on criminals that plague our lands. Right, we know that. Bring them ahead. Mangana, the sword searcher. Hmm. So the thing of it being a big city, we're going to have to find out where everybody is as well. Which could be a little tricky. All bull knight, and these look, look like all regular people. Maybe come in here to the, uh... Sorcerer Stein. Oh, snap. Hmm. Tinker in the city of Oxymalian is looking for help with a goblin or something. Now, I know there's a bount there's bounty boards. We didn't check this yet, but there's like sage advice, local guilds. All sorts of stuff. Wonder if we can actually play checkers. That's too far away. It looks like we can. Seeking brave adventure, status board, news from the nobles. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. 
Druid's Guild, yes. You like feathers. Stable pet. Oh, stable pet, right. Oh, nothing I'm interested in. But I have feathers, Sir Druid. Writing. Hey! Greetings, Elzarium. I am Anche, and I've been working with animals for many years. Taming is quite the feat that only few can accomplish. If you have pets, we can stable them for you if you wish. If you have a Grandmaster skill in camping, you can acquire a hitching post and use it in your home to stable your own pets. You can only have a particular number of animal companions with you, based on your skills with animals. Having a good skill in herding can help you manage more pets. If you're looking for a pack animal, I may be able to help. Many adventurers seem to acquire much treasure in their journey, and they often complain on how much they had to leave behind because they simply couldn't carry it. A pack horse can help, as they are inexpensive. Many of these animals have been slain in dangerous areas, so be careful and protect them from such things. We sometimes are able to raise a healthy pack mule, however, and they are much more rugged than other pack animals. They require more control to bring with you, but they carry much, much, and monsters seem to leave them be for some reason. Because they are often sought by adventurers, they cost much more gold, but it may be well worth it. I have also heard stories of tamers actually training elephants and dinosaurs to carry their goods, but I have yet to see it. This game is so crazy. Be aware when exploring the land that there are some areas you cannot ride mounts into. These are areas such as dungeons, caves, and some indoor areas. If you are riding atop an ethereal, it will move to your backpack when you enter such areas. You can use the ethereal mount when you leave that area. If you are riding an animal, then the animal will run off to a safe place when you enter such areas. They will reappear when you leave the area and you can continue riding on. If you cannot find your riding animal for any reason, check the stables, as it may have wandered there. If you have an animal that you cannot ride in these areas but wanted to accompany you anyway, then leave the area and dismount the animal before continuing on. If you are without your mount for too long, they will eventually go back to the stables, where the stable master will draw gold from your bank every week. If you have no gold, they will release your mount into the wild. Wow. Um. Thieves Guild, no kidding. Wow. Begging. Hey. Bag of tricks. Jester hat. Fool's hat. Jester suit. Jester garb. Wow. Throwing gloves. Marksmanship. Double click to change type from stones. Cannot be used with other weapons. Throwing darts. Can be used with throwing gloves. Huh. The art of thievery. What to steal for better profit? Hidden traps. Oh my gosh, a skeleton key. Open most locked containers or doors. A disguise kit. Wow, this is so nuts. Right now, though, we've got to find someone to sell the, uh, what do you call an angry princess just awakened from a long sleep? Slapping beauty. <laughs> Uh, we have to find someone to buy these, um... What are they? The, uh, feathers. I thought I might find a ranger in here. Liar's dice game. Hmm. I don't know, we'll check this out more later. Uh, right now I just kind of want to... Continue to look around. Kind of see what's in this big city. There is quite a bit. You, the mighty. Why is your name yellow? We heard a story about bandits within a stronghold in northern Sosaria. Hmm, his name is yellow. He must be a really important... Like a really dope character. Ah, uh, tribute. Why would I pay him tribute? 
the wonderful woodlands. Well met, Elsarian. I'm a simple woodsman, and I have been living in Montor for many years. I usually like to help prospective woodsmen, but I usually aid those that have been seasoned in the ways of valor and kindness. Well, take care, then. Shimina will offer you an item of tribute if you retrieve a rare item, a scroll of Abraxas, and have achieved a fame of at least 4,000 points and a karma of at least 4,000 points. If you accept their tribute, your fame and karma will decrease by 4k points and you'll have to rebuild them again. If you have achieved, achieved these amounts, single click on Shimino and select tribute. To choose the type of item you want, Shimino will also need at least 5,000 gold in order to construct the item for you. Wow, all kinds of stuff we're learning. Who's this? Key for the rough. Erwin the fighter. Hmm. Ah, Esteban the Druid. Your name is in blue. No, you won't buy the feathers either. Unbelievable. Well, I have nothing I would be interested in. Let's look for blue names. Dobry the Guard. Exotic Fish Tub. The Kraken Guild. There's a whole second area over here. Arlene of the Arcane Helm. Just a regular person. Seeking brave sailors. Neptune ships. Beck, you guys are blue, right? Of the menacing mean. Great spirits, please resurrect Kashini that has perished in the cave of fire. It's Heidi doing that. So cool. I can look at this stuff forever, son. Emo the guard. I don't really know how to tell. Montour Theater? Don't tell me you can put on plays and stuff and... Wow. Java of the Watchful Eyes. You're somebody. No, you're not. I mean, you are, but... Hair shop? Library of Montour. Wow, this is a vast city. The Eye of the Beholder. That must be a re agent shop? No, it's a merchant. Um jewelry shop. Can I buy any jewelry right now? It'd be no purpose. Communication crystal, emerald, yeah. It's well beyond my pockets right now. Here we have the, uh, the greedy goblin bank. Wow, people on mounts. The baker's bread. Dragon scales. Would they buy feathers? Taylor Guild? No, probably not. The Antiquarian. You get in here a little bit. Yeah, Taylors don't need feathers. I don't know what I'm thinking there. I need like a a boyer. Druid's Guild. Wait, here we go. Aww. It's at the stable, so that's where you get your animals at. Tree elemental down there, huh? Yeah, this place is vast. Oh, Karini up there on a dragon. Thurston the Gambler. Cauldron. Assassin the Gypsy. Alright, it's gonna take some getting used to, guys. Thank goodness we have food and water. <laughs> well, the food's gonna run low, though. We're gonna have to start making some money. Oh, 
well, so we're also going to have to start upping our game a bit. In terms of skills. It's going to be a lot of fun, though. It's all right, he is! Exotic fish tub. Kraken guild. That's the one that drew it again. You really don't want to buy these feathers? Alright. I'm gonna need to skill it. I should have went to the bakery. Got a skillet for cooking. My bad, guys. Well, hopefully you guys aren't in a hurry, because I'm certainly not. This is not the game to be in a hurry about. That's for sure. It takes a lot to really get anywhere, as you've seen in previous episodes, where we were getting a little bit somewhere. Medals of Montour. Another... Another, uh... Place to buy goods at. Leather sleeves, leather gorget. Oh, leather cap. There we go. We can pretty much agree that 10 GP for a leather cap is okay. For two physical resists, yeah. There we go. Put a little cap on. My thanks for the patronage. Where was that bakery? Further up. Is this it? Oh, there it is right there. Alright. Culinary Guild. Bread loaf. Sack of flour. Cheese pizza. Why can I not buy from you? Let's join the Culinary Guild to buy. And train cooking a little bit. Hmm. Train tasting. Do I have to get right next to you to buy and sell? No, you just... You steal with me. Okay, so no cooking implement just yet. Good to know this city, though. The Greedy Goblin Bank. No point of going in yet. Guess we just go out a bit. And, uh... Continue to kill birds for a bit. And yeah, we will um, hopefully get enough strength at some point to wield an axe, and then we'll start chopping wood, unless I can chop wood down with my dagger, which would be hilarious, but also very useful. Traveler wears healthy cow. Let's just test it right here. We've got a tree, right? A walnut tree. Whoa, 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 whoa. Double click the axe or the thing. An axe would probably get you more wood. <laughs> oh, we got kindling. Well, we can do a lot of kindling and try to sell that. <laughs> Hawk, a stag, a grizzly bear, mountain goat. A goat might be a little bit of a challenge to at least kind of get the blood flow and get the skills going a little bit. A macaw. You know what? Let's try to. No, we're not going to be able to tame a macaw. So it must go down. Anatomy. Oh, I should have. I should do an anatomy on these after I take them down. I only carry 180, by the way. That's. Oh, a crane. 
A toad. That might poison me. Let's try to fight the crane. Wow, I'm actually getting a little bit of a workout here. You see our skills going up down there. I don't know how I feel about it. Got 25 feathers, like we forensics and stuff. Cut of raw ribs. Nice. Should we try our hands with the toad? Hopefully it doesn't poison me or I'm in a lot of trouble. Putting up too good of a fight. Why am I not getting like swordsmanship or fencing? Oh, it's fencing. And we're not even getting fencing. And this toad is regening life. While we continue to lose life. For some reason, we're not gaining fencing. Come on, another shot. Another shot. Oh my gosh. Alright. <laughs> the toad was too much. And I turned focus off. Um... We also don't have that exploit of, you know, there being a farm right nearby where we could take all the stuff we wanted from. Hornbill, we can take out a hornbill though. Oh, I have fencing off. Oh. My bad. That monkey coming to attack. Hey. Try to take my hornbill. Now fencing's going up. I want to. While we're uh, doing this here. See, now my fencing is actually going up. This wild monkey. I guess we're fencing then. Let's run though. I was like, why are we getting fencing points? That's why. Now it should be fixed. Yeah, I could go with fencing. Fencing is like stabbing. Use of a rapier and stuff. That's cool. All right. Let's see how long we've been playing. Time just melts away. Yep, 48 minutes, so... Hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. It is uber fun to be playing this again in a new area. Fresh install. Everything is crispy fresh. No me messing with uh, files or anything when I shouldn't be. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this, and thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you all very much. You guys rule. Hope you'll join me next time. If you also enjoyed this episode, please consider helping my channel out by dropping a like. That's pressing the thumbs up. Leaving a comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And hit the notification icon. But only do those things if you really want to. No pressure at all. Only if you well, do whatever you want to do. It's up to y'all. It's all good. Um... And yeah, I will see you guys next time, hopefully, if you come on back. And we will continue having fun. We're just getting started, obviously. Um, yeah, let's go, son. It's going to be cool. So uh, until next time, guys, much love, peace, and joy. And be well, live well, stay well. Don't go anywhere. Bye-bye.